another day in a row with temperatures in the low 70s, feeling September like across the state line and a warm start to the evening, upper 60s, right around 70 degrees or right now. Usually we're closer to 10 degrees colder than this for this time of year. That kind of air is on the way. You can see much of the Midwest looking warm, but behind a pretty powerful cold front, temperatures are nearly 30 degrees colder, and that arrives later on this week. That front not doing much now, and it's still well off to our west, but by the time this all arrives, within about 24 hours, we do have a chance for some strong thunderstorms, or even as a marginal risk for severe weather across a lot of northern Illinois. We are looking at a one out of five on the scale, so it could be one or two storms that get up to severe strength. It'd be strong winds and hail being the main threats as we go into tomorrow evening. Uh, as we look ahead to tonight, it's quiet and definitely mild. Temperatures only down to around 50 under a partly cloudy sky. And then we get to the September-like warmth for one more day, 72 in the forecast or possibly the third day in a row under a partly cloudy Cloudy sky, and then those scattered showers and storms arrive as we go into tomorrow evening. You can see on future track, start of the afternoon looking quiet and dry, and we'll continue to have possibly a few isolated showers early. Uh, it's later on in the evening after 630, cold front starts to approach. You can see future track showing stronger storms more off to our southeast. This is why it's an isolated threat, uh, as we may only see strong storms around the region and not a ton of activity by us. But this is the time period we'll have to keep an eye out for some stronger storms. Beyond 9 o'clock, the weather's settling down. We may have some brief showers going into Thursday morning as that weather system departs. After that, it's much colder as well as much quieter going into the weekend. Uh, so for right now, pretty low risks for damaging winds and large hail. But after 630, definitely keeping an eye on the weather. I think by the end of the evening, that front is gone. And then it keeps that uh, strong to severe thunderstorm threat out of our hair after that. So again, evening plans. Just keep a close eye on any kind of strong thunderstorm activity that may bubble on up. You can see much of your day looking dry. There's that slight chance for a little isolated rain around noon, but really the afternoon and much of the day looking dry up until about 630 into the evening. Beyond that, behind the cold front, patchy frost possible starting Thursday night. Best chance for frost would be Friday night as we dip down into the low 30s. You can see 35 in the forecast right now. Lots of highs in the 50s going into the end of the week with a chance for rain on Sunday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do heat up a little bit next week. Temperatures back into the 60s looking long term after a cool end to this week, Brittany. Alex, thanks for that. Coming up next.